At the moment we've got roughly 6 million hectares of area that's burnt in these massive bushfires and it's completely changing the picture of wildlife conservation in this country. We've got populations and potentially species that just may not recover from fires of this size. To give you an idea of the scale, these are fires that have burnt almost seven times the amount that was burnt in the Amazon this year and three times what was burnt in California last year. So we're, we're looking at a scale we've never seen before. These populations have got the highest genetic diversity in the country as well. So the World Heritage Area in the Blue Mountains has a really important population of koalas that we want to conserve for the future of the species. So the scale of these fires and their intensity has just been unprecedented and out of that have come some unprecedented measures. We got permission from National Parks and Wildlife and went in in front of the fire front to pull out some healthy individual animals from Kanangra Boyd from this disease free population and we've now got them safe and sound in Taronga Zoo who are looking after them until we've got a safe area to release them back into the wild. We're also doing search and rescue for burnt animals but there's a much bigger scale problem that's coming up now which is dehydration and starvation for animals including koalas. Koalas normally get all of the moisture they need from the leaves that they eat, but in these times of record-breaking heat and drought, they're coming down to dams and to freestanding water to try and take water. So like a lot of the wildlife, the next big problem is dehydration and starvation after these fires. Their habitat's been removed, they've got nothing to go back to to eat. A lot of the creeks and rivers are dry and we need to start dealing with that problem. So we're wanting to put out water stations for koalas and other arboreal wildlife like greater gliders that really get hit by the heat stress. Some are dropping dead out of trees at the moment and also for other wildlife including wallabies and kangaroos.